All right, recording. Hello, Denise Ramon, long time no see. I know, hello. You look beautiful, by the way. You look absolutely oh, stunning. Thank you, as always. Oh, thanks. There, at least we did. Anyway, hello, Eric, my love. I love you. Eric says, I love you, mama. He says, hello. He's um, just giving you big hugs. He's just, he's really um, like snuggling up to you. And he says he used to do that when he was little. He would snuggle yeah. up to you. And that's what he's doing now. Oh, I just love that. I hope I'm not wearing you out by working on our secret project together. I've been having so much fun. He's, no, he's um, real excited. He says he's, um, it really energizes him is what he says. Me too. And we're helping so many people. It's draining for me, but I regenerate pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to talk about King John the Third, which I, who I never heard of. I never heard I've, of that thing. Yeah. Before. Anyway, apparently a lot of people believe that, oh, well, can we call it higher self? Maybe we, we don't have to. I don't know. Uh, Eric, what do you want to do? He said, let's wait, because I feel like Eric's kind of like getting them around some, yeah. his energy here, bringing them in his energy wise. I mean, he is alive, so. Yeah. That squeaky toy. Oh. Um, all right. Is it true that this King John the Third? I can't remember his name. Uh, mm, all right. Is the rightful monarch for the UK or England? Instead of the Queen of England, Elizabeth? Let me look up his name while you're figuring that one out. I forgot it. Eric says, you know, with anything, you know, there's, you know, what would you call, he says it's like um, conflict of interest, you know, and it's kind of like somebody getting a promotion. One gets it and the other one who is most deserving of it doesn't and people question why did this one get it as opposed to the other one? And Eric says, you know, there is some truth to that, that he ought to have been that, but it's, it's almost like, um, it's the way he, Eric says, the way the dominoes fell, it was like by right, Queen Elizabeth was to get it, but it's because they were just looking at one one section of how it was being done. And, you know, I don't really know a whole lot about all of that stuff, but he's saying that um, it's like, it, it's it was the right thing to do that she gets it because of the order of where she falls in line for that. Well, why is all this uh, hubbub coming up now. The guy's name is Joseph Gregory Hallett. Why is it all coming up now? Because Eric says it's like the way everything is coming up now because people are seeing that, you know, it's just not as pure as, as it appears to be or as they wanted us to think it was. You know, um, I just feel like her her, I want to say her father, Queen Elizabeth's father, but I feel like it was more like, um, Eric is showing me, it's more like the father and the mother are kind of like pushing her in there. Even though Eric says her father was gone and she kind of just got thrown in there, it's almost like nobody, hmm, really questioned it. It was more of a panic type thing huh. as to why she got put in there. But I feel like her mother was in there because it's almost like if Queen Elizabeth didn't get put in there, then things would have had to have gotten shuffled around. And I, and the way Eric says oh. that, it's, it's like, well, 
now we have to change living quarters. It's, they would have to change their lifestyles to some degree. So they kind of put her in there and, you know. They would have gotten demoted, probably? Yeah, yeah, that would be a good word for it, yes. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, and um, Eric says, you know, that would have been such a disgrace to that family to say, you know, I got demoted. It's like being um, fired. You know, you have this high profile position and then you're fired and you have to go tell everybody, well, I'm not the president of whatever large corporation that's going on, you know, at the time. So, yeah. And, um, and I also feel like they were able to um, mm, train Queen Elizabeth for the way they wanted her to, to be. Interesting. All right, so here's a little bit that I found. A bizarre story about a man laying claim to the throne of England is seeing a surge in popularity amongst conspiracy theorists this week, particularly with a fringe right uh, wing group, QAnon, Q, you know. A man by the name of Joseph Gregory Hallett, refer, refer, referred to by the name of Joseph Gregory Hallett, referred to by some as King John, who originally submitted a 34-page affidavit as his statement of claim to the British common law courts in April, and that was in 2020, actually, um, as a, uh, claims that the Ill illegitimate conception of King George V left a bloodline of flat lie royals on the throne since 1840. Mm. Is that true? That that there was an illegitimate illegitimate uh, conception of King George the Fifth that left a bloodline of illegitimate royals from eighteen forty on. Eric says yes, that is true. He says wow. you know um, it, it you know yes, that is true. Wow. And so he's saying, Hallett is saying, that the British royal family was forced to sell their breeding rights to the Rothschild family in the, in the, uh, the, the wake of the Battle of Waterloo to save themselves from bankruptcy. Wow. And the Rothschilds retained these rights up until 2019. Hmm. Eric says he's showing me there is, there is truth to that, and mm -hmm. that is true. Oh. The Rothschilds, oh my God, they're part of the deep state. They're just, oh. Mm -hmm. Hell's theory revolves around a baseless claim, so this person says, that King George V was not the actual son of, of Edward VII, but instead was the illegitimate son of Tsar Alexander the third of Russia. So, who was who was the father of King George V? Was he the the, the son of um, Edward the Seventh, or was he the son of the Tsar Alexander the Third of Russia? Eric says no. It wasn't the the son of the Tsar. It wasn't that. Definitely not. Eric says no. So who who was he the son of? Neither of these guys? I mean, you never know. Um, who was that, that first one? The, the uh, uh, Edward the Seventh? He, he could have been somebody else's. I, he didn't have to be El, uh, Edward the Seventh or the Tsar. It definitely wasn't the Tsar. Eric has shown me that's emptiness, that, that he was not the son of Tsar. A lot of people really believe that he was, or they want to believe that he was, because they want to believe that there, there's a tie in there somewhere, um, like, uh, uh, there's, I don't know, like there's a tie between Russia and all that stuff, you know, okay. uh, uh, blackmail and that. Um, was it the... King Edward? King Edward, King Edward and... Um, 
Eric is saying yes, because there was a lot of activity going on in there. You know, it's just, they weren't as prim and proper as they show. You know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and, it, and it's, it, they feel like they have a, a right to do this stuff. Okay. It's almost, it's almost like it's a, um, it's almost like it's a, um, like whoever they choose to have relationships with, it's like, it's the right to be able to do that with other people and not, not um it's not a question do you want to it's 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 like it's the right god all right so is he the rightful monarch then or not considering that they sold the breeding rights to the rothschilds and now those breeding rights uh sort of expired in 2019 etc cetera, etc cetera. eric says technically yes However, is he going to come in and, and, and take office one day or what? Eric says no, because there's too many, too many thick bands he's showing me, like too many ropes to cut to get in oh. there. It just isn't going to happen. But what it does do there's some more secrets underneath the bat that will be coming out. And, and I just, Eric is saying, this is a part of starting to bring out some more secrets and starting to dismantle some of this um, authority, this popularity, this illusion that the royalty are all these wonderful things. Well, look, the monarchy are just thieves put on an altar. They just <laughs> robbed peasants. Oh, it's awful. I, I, I don't understand why they are worshipped. They ransacked people of their wealth. That's all. I'm because Eric says, because that's just how it was. You know, it's kind of like a... You know, you, it's how you're raised, like it's oh, I know. passed down. They don't, they don't know any better right now. I mean, it's. Well, they are starting to wake up, Eric says. And, and I have to say that even some people that I channel for, I, I see their awakening. Like they're just like yeah. not buying all of that. They're really looking up to these people, this, this system that's killed and ransacked and taking property and well you can see how eric says it's starting to dismantle because yeah yeah uh, that one um yes yes the couple that said we, we yes titles anymore. yeah yes all right is king george truly queen elizabeth's father yes yes okay hang on i gotta get bella she's calling to get in my lap you annoying pest. Hey, don't back away from me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, what happened? Why did the Windsors usurp their roles and win? What will win? Or is that the couple we talked? We just talked about. This is from blog members. Why did they what? Usurp their role and win. Uh, Why did they get rid of their? Yeah. And go. Okay, Bill. I'm not going to deal with you. Okay. Um, Eric is telling me, this is what he's telling me, you know, he's not going to dive in and tell all their secrets out of respect. Um, but he says it's pretty obvious why they, they left. Um, some of the, you know, he, and this is stuff that people can see, um, but he's not going to, he keeps telling me, I'm not going to get into the depth of it, but he's saying yeah. one is, you know, um, even though he was young when his mother died. Yeah. They, they felt stuff and known stuff because those are smart kids, young men now. Oh yeah. And, and <coughs> Eric is saying, 
this had a lot to do with the protection and harassment of his wife and he didn't want his child to go through this through that also and i feel like because it felt familiar to him when his mother was poked fun of and harassed and you know that she was a common instead of you know right up there with the elite or whatever and she was doing her own thing and you know he just he wasn't going to go that route and um and Eric says, you know, it's not like all of a sudden he wanted out of this. Eric says he didn't like the restrictions before he that. met. Yeah. Before he met her. Yeah. So this, yeah. So this is just like some added fuel. Like, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Does this have anything to do with the whole King John thing in his mind, or not? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay, are the Windsors of reptilian lineage and the same thing with John the Third? They want to know King John the Third. Are they a part of that? The reptilian race, because you know blue blood. You know the reptilians actually have copper in their blood, and that makes it blue. That's where that whole thing came from. How pretty. Um. Not to say it's a bad thing. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know why, but Eric makes me feel like they're a crossbreed in some sort. But Eric also is saying the reason why they want to know, are they part of the reptilians in that? Because Eric says the reptilians don't have a good history or they have a bad rap. And that's why people are asking about that. And, um, Eric is just saying you don't have to be a part of that to not be so-called a good person. But is that energy, is that type of energy around? Eric says, yes, it is. You know, it is around, but are they like full blood reptilians or are they? Oh. I don't think so. I, I feel like they, um, the way Eric is showing me, I, I just feel like it's almost like they have an agreement with them. Oh. What well, what percentage um, is like the the what percentage is Queen Elizabeth reptilian? A very small amount, like ten percent, five percent. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking Eric. Um, don't you make me get my dowsing rod out, Denise? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eric is saying like she's like a cousin. Okay. She's like a cousin. Okay. What about King John the third? Less less in him or none or Eric says it's like a real distant cousin and the way he's showing me it's watered down so he it doesn't have the same full effects like if you were a cousin or that. But there still is that um tinge yeah you know there there still is that um i i get like that greediness in there okay is king john a more benevolent guy or or not more so than the the royal family he said yes so many questions or about if he takes over the monarchy. So I don't know what to do with that. Um, but he won't, right? Eric says that that's not gonna happen. You know, that's just not gonna happen. And he's showing me like right now, that is just not gonna happen. He says, you know, there's a lot of chaotic stuff going on there right now and people are wanting a change big time. And he says, you know, people are hoping that something changes within the royal family that whatever, yeah. you know, they want going on in their lifetime. Huh? Will it happen after she, after the, somebody else 
um, succeeds her after she transitioned, Eric says. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Eric is just showing me it's that just girl not, ain't never going to die. I swear to God. I know. She, they She's got longevity. Daughter. They got longevity in there. God, I bet Prince Charles is pissed. Oh, okay, go ahead. She said, Die. He's saying, Die, bitch. Every night. <laughs> but go ahead. Eric says it's just not going to be a smooth, clean transition, like, and like in a sense, like it was for her to transition. You know, it's almost like people were bringing her, pushing her, saying, "This is where you go. This is what you do. This is what you say," and stuff like that. And and I just don't feel like when she transitions, because um, I just don't feel like she'll say, "I'm ready to retire." I just don't feel that from her today and Eric is saying when they bring the next person in it's just not going to be as a smooth transition because Eric has shown me there's a lot of eyeballs on that position Jeez. who will it be I mean as quantum probability holds out now You know, Eric has shown me Charles, but I thought he wasn't allowed to be there. But... Oh, yeah. Why, is there any chance of just abolishing the freaking monarchy? Eric said eventually that is going to happen. Is it going to happen after, you know, like, um, like, it definitely will happen after she transitions. And, but is it, or when she leaves her seat, Eric is correcting me. Um, but it's not going to happen to where that happens before someone else takes her position. I feel like that is going to be down the road because, you know, you're wanting to move a huge boulder, you know, the yeah. size of half of the United States. And, and it's just yeah. not going to be an easy move. That's like, you know, us wanting to do away with some of our government. And oh, God, please, let's do. I say when she transitions, the, the people of the UK should just dismantle all the gold, put all the wealth, and spread it around to all the people of England, give it back to the people, and then change, uh, take the palaces and all the property and change it into the happiest place in the world, a Disneyland, and change all those people with those funny hats and make them into Minnie and Mickey Mouses and all that stuff and spread all the love around the world. Well, Eric says, you know, I don't know. It's just not going to be like, oh, we're all so sad and all this other stuff. I feel like it's going to be more of a, not that they're glad that she's gone per se, well, but but I just it's like this is our opening to do something different. Yeah. And, what, and the, what's going on with her higher self? What is she thinking about all this? Queen Queen Elizabeth the second. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I really got, I really get a lot of egos involved. Oh. Mm -hmm. And um, Eric is just telling me that's all to say, that there's a lot of ego involved. Well, she probably thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. But, you know, she's been trained to think that way. She's been so isolated from criticism and all that. What about King yes. John by herself? I get that um, as I, when I tune into that, it's um, Eric's helping me to get, it's like um, I'm getting like he, his humanness and that is tired of being quiet, you know? Yeah. yeah. And um, 
this is also about a time for him to learn to exercise his voice, using his voice. And so, I, and I guess I'm getting, it's like he's gonna be able to see about using his voice in, I don't wanna say the proper way, but um, in a constructive way to use his voice. Okay. Is Queen Elizabeth a corrupt? Eric says, you asked me this once before. I did? Probably. Yeah, maybe about, he's telling me, because I don't remember the videos, and I definitely don't watch them. But he's, he's it's replaying well, in my head. I get a little ad revenue from them. It's just wake up in the morning. Oh, I do. I do say and like. Your teeth, you just. Lay those. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't. I do it let it go, and I like it. Just yeah, but um, out of support for you and you Eric. Know, but kidding. I don't get almost anything. So, <laughs> but um, well, that's not why I do it. I just do it out of support. But he said you asked me this question one time, and I said no, and that, and Eric says um, because that's where I was, and that's what I was hearing from him because, you know, uh, just where I was. And Eric is like, so is she corrupt? And Eric's saying, tell her what you think now, Denise. And I don't have, when I, he says that, I'm like, I don't have an opinion about I her either. or whatever. Um, I just think it's amazing how you can be so stiff all your life. But, um, and I don't mean that in a condescending way, just like you can't even, burp you know because of how people because you have to act so prim and proper or whatever so hard but yes but is she corrupt in that and That's eric true. eric is saying are you, he says i'm ready to do, you know she knows a lot of shit going on yeah she yeah. knows a lot of shit going on and it's it's almost like um it's kind of like you know People are hungry as hell, but it's easier to throw all the leftover food in the garbage can than to put it in containers and drive it five miles down the street. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, of course, she's got a very loving side to her. And with and, her grandkids, I bet, you know, and yeah. And, and she, you know, she, um, But you know, she doesn't, she's been trained, Eric says, she's been trained. Yeah. She's uh, internalized her whole personality. It's almost it's, like she's been trained not to feel. Yeah, yeah. It's not protocol. And I really feel compassion for her because, you know, to not feel, I mean, how can you be that way? So, um, Send her love and light, people, because it can't be easy to be her. And Ugh. I don't think she's evil. I do not think she's corrupt. I don't. I feel very, I feel like she's really lonely and sad. And it's not, it's surely not easy to be her. Yeah. No, Eric says, you know, she's been aware of some things and done some things. And through her queen role and stuff, that she you know people tell her stuff that she depended on and eric says you know she got really smart along the way because she wanted to know she was doing stuff because this is what she knew to do not because people were advisors or whoever talks to her i don't know about all that but there's some guilt she does carry because she knows that she's done she's created some Oh. bad situations down the way but then I feel like the way Eric shown, she chalks it off to this is this is how it's done this is how it's done yeah. that's protocol basically yeah that's protocol it's what you do like in like I think she is just she's so sad because she's like a bird in a cage a cage that's lined with mirrors you know exactly that's why i say like you know you can't even burp because somebody will be there you know it's almost like you just i, I don't know i i 
that's why I'm not royalty, I guess, is go around because yeah. I couldn't do it. Okay, so the guilt, is that some of that about uh, Lady Di? Who did die, by the way. I don't remember that. What? Lady Di? Lady Di? Lady Di. Yeah, I remember when she died. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's awful. The, um, Eric says she just turns her cheek. It's like, it's almost like, um, I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. Did she disapprove of um, Lady Di? What a beautiful soul, I think, that she was, you know. Definitely. Eric is saying, you know, Eric says she really liked her, um, but she really liked her because of how she represented the, because um, her beauty and her youth and all of that was a good representation for the royal family. It, she looked good. It was a good photo shot and stuff and, and that kind of stuff. And she did like her, you know, but she also didn't like her. Um, it's because it took it as it was being um, insubordinate, um, rebellious when Princess Diana was doing her own thing. And then especially when um, Princess Diana got the divorce. And Eric is telling me that Princess Diana really didn't want the divorce in the beginning, but she was tired of, everybody knew what was going on. Everybody knew, even the Queen Elizabeth is, and Eric says it's like she was telling, whatever his name is, you need to be more private and when you're doing this. Whatever, Prince Charles? Yes. Okay, whatever his name is. Oh, okay. Does yeah. Charles want to be the next king of England? Of course he does, Eric says. Of yeah. course he does. Does King John the Third want to be the next king of England? You know, Eric is telling me it's not so much that he wants to be, but he wants everybody to know he should be or should have been. Uh -huh. That's what he wants. He wants the acknowledgement of who he is and how, yes. But I, does he want to be that? I don't, Eric is saying he really doesn't want to be that because I, I don't, I feel like this guy is more about wanting to bring the truth about of what's going yeah. on. And he, and he can't bring that truth yeah. about and be king. Yeah, he wants to resurrect that lost bit of history then, right? Yeah, that, that's what Eric, yeah. He oh. really wants that truth. He wants acknowledgement, yeah. Okay, here's one. Is the Queen of England the second dead? Is she the who? Is she really dead and there's some sort of... Um, no, she's yeah. breathing, Eric says, and I feel her here. She's here oh, on my okay. right side. So when they're dead or as we we call it or I like to feel more transition they're on my right side and my right I mean my left side and my okay. right side is definitely where she is uh I have heard from whatever this is I I've heard from another group that King John has been watched over and protected over for years is that true by whom I don't know I guess maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe aliens is always about aliens. Who knows? Um, with that question, Eric is telling me, he, you know, watched over and protected and stuff like that. Uh, I also get like he, when I say like watched over how is because it's almost like they gave him enough cushion so things would stay quiet and I guess in a sense okay. and and you know but also um, I feel like there is some protection around him 
Okay. He's uh, a, he has a he has a strong belief in a power greater than himself. Eric is oh, saying well, that's good. Yeah. As long as it's not Satan, I guess. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've heard this blog member says I've heard that the queen rules most of the planet. Is that true? Eric says she'd like to think she does, okay, but does not. But no. But okay. no. Okay. Some people, some of his family members say that King John the Third. Uh, maybe bipolar. True? Only inquiring minds inquiring minds want to know. Eric says no, but he says of course his behavior is going to be up and down. It's look what he but no he's not bipolar is no. Eric says no. This is probably it's like I'm a royal. What's going on? It's like, mm. Eric says he really wants the truth out. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of an offhanded question, but did Queen Anne Boleyn fake her execution and survive? Wow. <laughs> you know, when you ask that, I get right away my right side state my right side is here so that tells me yes she did Ooh, wow okay. and i'm asking because eric was he's saying check your so right side side and so i'm checking that and i'm getting yes she did that's so cool okay all right bird okay um is king john the third the direct descendant of christ you blog members out there, you rock in your questions. You're doing so good. These are great. I love you guys. Uh, and I'm not BSing you. Okay, go ahead. No, you're not. You really do. I know you do. You know. And Eric, I'm not BSing really. I, okay, erase Eric, it. I'm yeah. not bullshitting, am I? Eric says, no, you're not bullshitting, Mama. He says, no, you're not. And and you're not. I mean, I know that you you're... You're a mama bear for all of us, um, which I find a lot of comfort in. But is he a direct descendant from Christ, Jesus Christ? Uh, Eric says what they're wanting to know is, are they related to Jesus Christ? And Eric says we're all related to Jesus Christ in some form or fashion because we all come from because we all come from the the collective yes you know okay. so yes but is you know did he like walk with jesus and be with jesus and stuff like that um eric says there is there was some friendship or whatever um going on there yes i feel like he was um one of those disciple disciples or something you mean like, one of, uh, in, in another life? Yes, in another life. With, oh, with, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really in the bloodline of Christ. No, but in the but walked with him. Yeah. Which disciple? One that we don't know the name of, maybe, or or was he I, John? You know when. Um, There's another one that starts with a J, and I don't, I, and I can't pick it up. I, I don't pick it up. Joseph? Is there a Joseph or? I don't know. JJ? JJ? <laughs> JJ. Eric is showing me there's one with a J, and um, I, I don't pick up, I can't pick up the name. Was my son Lucas Luke? No, I'm kidding. Okay, what does Trump think about King John? This is not my question, okay. Eric's being very diplomatic. He says he thinks he's a fine gentleman. Okay. Okay. He's claiming, King John, I suppose, that Nisara and Gesara law, I don't really know the difference, will be implementing soon. Implemented soon, sorry. Is it true? Is this true? Well, Eric says it's what your definition of soon 
and what he says is soon are probably on a different scale. There are changes coming, but it's not going to happen all at once. It's not like, you know, everything's dismantled and everything's going ahead. Mm. And it tells me this with some of my clients, we have to be spoonful of fed with this stuff because we're just not going to believe a lot of the stuff coming along, you know, just like, um, some people believe what they want to believe about um, uh, different parties of the house. And, you know, some people believe different about global warming. So, mm -hmm. so Eric says, you know, there is, but Eric does say there are some definite big changes coming and they're already happening, but they're subtle, but they're coming. And, I feel the, the way Eric has shown me, like over the next five years, there's going to be some big changes coming along and it's going to be worldwide. Okay. So it depends on us how we want to observe it. We can observe, observe it as a bad thing and kick and scream and be miserable, or we can see it as a good thing and, and really get into that good feeling of it and really help it to move quicker. It's just- Are, are you talking about the, the Sarah Gassara thing? With everything, Eric says, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, Buckingham Palace is closed up. Oh, I got a funny story. When I first moved to my new house in at Buckingham Court, uh, I was changing the electricity or something, I can't remember. And so she verified, the lady said, okay, now I want to verify that you are, you know, changing your thing to X Buckingham Palace. And I said, oh yeah, I wish. Can you please send the bill to them? It's like, that's so funny. Uh, okay, now Buckingham Palace is closed up. What is happening? Will the royals return there? I didn't know it was closed up. Hmm. I didn't either. Well, first of all, is it? So we can just skip the rest of it. Maybe it's close for well, COVID, you know. Or when something. you say that, Eric says, you know, it's closed up on the outside, but I don't get that it's closed up on the inside. Is and, I, up? and I also feel like it's what it, well, why it closed up, and that was more for safety purposes. COVID? Um... I did, more than that, Eric says. Uh, have there been security threats? I think, yeah, Eric says, yeah, there has been. Related to King John the, the Third kind of stuff? Not, different. people are pissed at how the government's handling things there. They're, they they're not, the, what? they're not, they're, Eric says they're, they're pissed. They, they don't like how they're, suppressing everything it's not like they're really taking action on anything and um they just hand out money to people while this COVID's on and think that that's that's okay yeah. but but it's um eric says but in the meantime they're also implementing other things on them and eric says there's a there's some groups forming and i feel like there are also some people who are wanting to sue and, and stand up for their rights and yeah. stuff like that because they're, they're tired of it. Yeah. All right. So um, King John also claims that Harry and William are not Prince Charles's children. And, oh, dog fur. Uh, and a man called James Francis Alexander is the real Prince Harry. They were swapped at the age of eight. James was killed years back. True or not? Eric said so that's not true. No, oh, that sounds awful. Okay. Uh, did King Henry the uh, Eighth fake the executions of all his wives or just Anne Boleyn's? Um, and that makes sense. You said, um, 
King Harry the Eighth. Henry, yeah. Henry, Henry the Eighth, yeah, Henry the Eighth, and that makes sense why his, her death was faked and why I was getting, because I feel like she got like a payoff, you know, like what? you know, you go bye bye and we'll let you go, and that was an ingredient, you know. Um, what about the others? Because then he marry a lot. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Eric says, no, he didn't fake the deaths on all of them. Um, it's almost like he just said, take care of her. And he just went to the store while that was done. And then he came back and no more wife. So how many of them, what, did, did he kill everyone except for Anne Boleyn? I'm gonna, let me ask, what does Eric say on that? Because that's fascinating. Um, Eric says two of them he didn't kill. He says two. Uh, 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 Anne Boleyn and another one? Yes, he said there was two that, that he didn't okay. kill. Aww. And it's be, uh, um, it's almost like he had a it's yeah. like he had a liking for them anyway. But oh, okay. But I guess that man just couldn't keep it in his pants and well, and Eric says, back then, you had to marry. That's just how it was, and you had to save face. And he had to have a boy. Um, okay, did Elizabeth II, uh, Prince, uh, I mean, Philip and Charles, shape-shift, were, were they shape or are they shape-shifting reptilians? Eric is telling me there there is a relation. There is relation. To reptilians, cousin, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Okay, during the Queen's 90th Jubilee, many people saw Elizabeth II in her reptilian form. Tweets, videos, photos were scrubbed from the internet. Uh, at Buckingham Palace, uh, Palace released a statement saying that the Queen was not human before quickly removing it. All, it is this all true? Well, Eric says, you got to remember, the queen is going to be very particular on how she looks. Yeah. You don't want to look like a snake. So, that, you know. The more heavy foundation there, girl. Yeah. So, so she, yeah. In. yeah so she's different hat. very particular on, you know, she's always ready for a showcase. So, um, Eric says, there are people who can really see who she really is. They can see past that, but um, I don't feel like they would have put it on the internet from what Eric is showing me. It's like they used it for their own uh, information. Who's they? I'm well, how Eric is showing me like other aliens, other extraterrestrials are, 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 are saving it, you know, because Eric is telling me there are people here on this planet that are not, you know, they look kind of like us, but they're really extraterrestrials, you know. Oh. So they were photoshopping Queen like, Elizabeth and others to make yeah. them. More yeah, reptilian than they really uh, are. I mean, yes. they, are, they do have traces of reptilian, but they were like just like marketing campaign or something. Well, they just so desperately want to dismantle her. Why? Because it's it's almost like it's she keeps part of the country suppressed you know like they they can't they can it's almost like um it's like you can get ahead but only so far ahead like you'll never be as rich as her you know like here we got people who are richer than our president yeah of course that won't ever happen there Okay, so are you telling me the reptilians care about that or another race of aliens care about another that? Another race. 
what race is that? Or a, is it a collection of races? I'm, when you said collection, I get that it's a collection because when Eric is showing me, I don't get just one. I get like it's a collection, you know. So, um, yeah, and that they're just, you know, <sighs> listen to what he says. Um, Eric is saying that they, there's a collection of races within the ETs and they're like all friends yeah. who are um, how he's the, the, the prince, the, I mean, not the prince, the queen, that was other people here wanting to tear down the monarch, you know, wanting to, cause they, they really want to, they really want that to stop. They're trying to bring, they really are trying desperately to bring the corruption to the top. But then you get people who feed into things and then they create things and then, it, and, and to get people's attention. But there is another, but there will, and they want her away because she just will never allow anyone to be, you cannot be richer than the, the royal family. You're oppressing the people. Yes. It's like here, there are people, quite a few people here that are richer than our president. Yeah. That does not happen over there. Yeah. Is that true of all monarchies across the globe? Or most? For most, yeah. For most. Not all, but yeah. for most. But for most. Because they, they want to feel superior. So do you foresee an end to all monarchies in the future, then Eric? And Eric's, Eric says eventually it is going to happen because eventually all of that's going to be dismantled and, and even stuff with the, even in our own country. Um, and that's what we're moving towards right now. But it's not going to happen in five years. It, yeah. it, it's going to take some time, you know, it's just going to take time. So, so with this Jubilee, this collection of benevolent alien races was trying to show the reptilian facade of the Royal family. And is that what I'm hearing? Eric says, yes, wanting to, and it's really more about, wanting to expose oops so out of time wanting to expose like bring more curiosity you know like just put some i don't know like put make people think wow yes wow. yeah make people think because that, that stuff is real far out when you think about it yeah well, wasn't there something about Pelosi being reptilian too, or some some people? I don't, I can't remember. Some people on in our government also, or not? Eric says yes. There's, there's, we have our share too of stuff, you know. But mm -hmm. um, Eric says, but don't get too concerned because they're not going to. I don't know. Eric is, I don't like to get into politics too much, but Eric is saying, oh, that's not. You know, I don't know. I, I just, I, I just, I might be blowing smoke. I, I just can't remember. Just put it this way. There's some, there's some people in our politics in the U S that are definitely from the wrong side of the tracks and both sides of the aisle. I know because I've seen Yes, it. yes, yes. And you know, um, not everything what you see, is exactly what it is and yeah. i'm gonna, uh, and so um yeah it just isn't yeah and thank you alien races that are trying to figure this out and help us and shield us and dismantle these <laughs> horrible people and uh thank you denise ramon at deniseramon.com i've missed you so much we haven't had a session for so long and um yeah I love you and I love your family. And Eric, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I thank you so much for working me on our secret project. He says, I love you, Mama. And he says, he really enjoys that one-on-one -on -one time with you. He just, mm -hmm. he cherishes it. And he's showing me how, 
his energy with you is so different than with other people. Yeah. Oh, how sweet, how precious. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, everybody. Oh, I did have an epiphany today. You know how I sometimes get nasty stuff from some of you, not all of you. But then I just realized that, you know, you know, people who uh, seek the spirituals very often, and I've told you this too in the text, Denise, struggle. They struggle, struggle, struggle financially. They have spiritual depression. Um, they have relationship problems, et cetera. Some, uh, some of you guys are plagued by uh, with negative energies, negative attachments, entities. And, um, you know, that makes you, some of you consumed with greed and jealousy, alcoholism, uh, anger, fear. And so those kind of people tend to lash out, fight with violence, etc. And, you know, I, I just have come to the point, this big epiphany that it's your baggage, not mine. And that sometimes the people who are the most difficult to love are the ones that need it the most. And so to those people, I send love and light to, okay? That's my decision. So love you all. Awesome. Eric even said, if you, you are, got it, mom. You got it, mom. If, if, even if you are the haters, I love you even more. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Bye.